So welcome back to differential diagnosis series with Dr. Shirna Dimawan and today I'm gonna look for the splenic calcification and its differential. While you are scanning the spleen, definitely will come across certain uh, micronodules, macronodules, the solid nodules, cystic nodules, but many a time you will see tiny calcifications over there. So how will you write the differential? So it depends upon the shape of the calcification. Sometimes there are tiny calcification, which usually because of tuberculosis, histoplasmosis and certain earthen granulomas, Sometimes it happens to be curvilinear, especially in case of the abscesses, especially in case of the hydrated cyst. Sometimes it happens to be tubular, elongated and popcorn. So all these type of a calcification do have its own differential. How it will appear on the ultrasound imaging and how you are going to differentiate it from one another. There is a list and I'm going to narrate on that. So keep that differential in view, keep memorizing all that and when you come across any Splenic calcification must mention differentials on your report. On your report, so start watching this uh, differential list. Splenic calcification depend upon its size, its shape, its density, and its uh, number. If Within the splenic parenchyma, it appears as multiple small nodular forms. So it could be because of phleboliths, which is a benign condition in hemangiomas and uh, in tuberculosis as well. In post tuberculotic conditions, you will see multiple tiny calcific foci within the splenic parenchyma. And uh, this differential is also shared with histoplasmosis as well. Brucellosis is also appears with the same multiple small nodular calcification and you can also see this multiple small nodular calcification in sickle cell anemias. If within the splenic parenchyma the calcification appears in fine granular pattern or in diffuse homogeneous pattern so it would be because of sickle cell anemia and another condition which is called as pneumocystic carinae caused by pneumocystis carinae this usually involves the patient who is suffering from AIDS or having uh, autoimmune deficiencies. So that's why these both conditions will be seen in those patients. So in sickle cell anemia and in pneumocystis carinae, the calcification will appear finely and granular pattern or sometimes it will be diffusely homogeneous pattern. In solitary, greater than one centimeter. If you see calcific foci more than one centimeter this would be healed in FAC or it could be because of hematoma uh, in healed abscesses it will also appear a thick more than one centimeter solid uh, calcification and in tuberculosis as well so tuberculotic pattern may vary from tiny small focal tiny small nodular patterns to large more than one centimeter calcific foci so you can label this as a tuberculosis as well another particular pattern of uh, calcification which is called as curvilinear calcification can be seen in two condition the first most common one is cysts if this cyst caused by either post trauma or caused by hydrated disease so you can see curvilinear calcification in that cases so there will be curvilinear calcification in hydrated disease or in post traumatic condition uh, within the spleen the another uh, rarely common condition is splenic artery atherosclerosis seen especially in senile patient and uh, it will also be including splenic artery aneurysm so this condition can only be seen in senile patients so this was all about the calcific foci within the splenic parenchyma and its differential diagnosis.